So I received this gift from Oppo when they were launching the Oppo i5 into the Kenyan market. Since I I had a um, earpiece. So if it's only speaking in Chinese, I've not been able to configure it to English. An adapter cable, I think I lost it. Oh, it's still here. Maybe I lost another one. For charging the earpiece. Selfie stick, and these speakers, which we are going to check today. So these speakers are not the best speakers, as you can see, they are not branded. And this is what I'm trying to fix today because I've tested these speakers, and the sound output is quite not actually what I expected. It's worse, so I'm trying to fix that today. As of now, these are my laptop speakers working, so I'll connect these allegedly Oppo speakers. They're USB powered, so you insert the USB pin, yeah. and then you use this as the audio cable. like they're not the best of speakers a lot of distortion in them and also there's something else I discovered about these speakers you can see they are mono speakers I expected the right and left speakers to be separate but in this case, they are actually joined together. So I'm going to fix the horrible sound output and the mono nature of these speakers. are quite small no impedance is written here but I'm guessing maybe 8 ohms quite thin wires so the solo cable goes to the other speaker and the other two cables one is for the power supply from the 5 volts USB cable and the other one is the audio input which is the mono signal and so as you can see there are only two cables coming from this cable so i'm going to change all that and so i'm going to replace this small amplifier with this circuit over here this is a pam 8403 pam 8403 amplifier circuit just connect the cables and it will just work fine on top here this is the audio out yeah these two here are the audio out for the left channel audio out for the right channel at the bottom here you have the power supply that will come from the usb 5 volts and on the other side here is the signal input right, if i give it a stereo signal from the left and right channels it will come out on both channels so let's work on this amp and see the kind of magic it will bring 
So before I start soldering, I remove this cable over here. This is a 3.5 millimeter jack that is a stereo cable. I have three cables, one for the ground and the right and left channels. So this is a stereo cable. The other one didn't have any stereo on it. So I'll start by desoldering the cables on this unit first. So the pink one is the positive. Help me find the right words to say to get us back on our way. Can we try to fight against the grain? I throw it now what we made. The future's far. signal cable the light colored one the light colored cable over here is the ground the red one is the one channel the other blue one the other channel ground is at the middle So I have some quite of a lot of distortion on these speakers, but I think I know what the problem is. I need to add another capacitor over here at the power supply side to take care something similar to this to take care of that distortion. So this is what I have. It's a uh, 1000 microfarads by 10 volts. Now I'm going to add this to the power supply side. That's over here, taking care of polarity. This is the negative side and this is the positive side. So 
so what the capacitor will do is that it will smoothen out all the voltage so that this PCB can have a very smooth 5 volts voltage and also boost it a little bit. Okay, time to test it again. The power supply and the signal voltage signal cable. The sound is actually much better. All I needed to put was this capacitor and improve the sound quality. Now I put everything back together as it was. I feel it. 